Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, NFL tier ranking video. And today I'm going to be ranking the best quarterbacks of all time. I've got a bunch of different quarterbacks, probably the best quarterbacks from every single team um, down right here. So today we are going to be starting with Aaron Rodgers. Um, I would say that he's a legendary quarterback. In the GOAT, uh, there's only going to be one guy there, and uh, we're going to wait for that. Um, I would say he's legendary, um, but uh, yeah, he is very talented, so I was thinking about um, that, but he's a legendary quarterback. I, one, I would say he's probably almost top five, definitely top ten, so he's higher than these guys, most of these guys. So yeah, I would say, uh, yeah, that's um, he's, a, he's a legend. We've got Andrew Luck. It's not like I'm gonna put him down here, and it's and it's not that like he was bad. It's just he didn't have a long career, so we're just gonna put him down here. Um, here, you know, let's just uh, not Hall of Fame. Let's just uh, let's just put not Hall of Fame, just so people understand what uh, what's going up, what's going on. Of uh, fame, anyways. There we go. We've got. Who the heck is this guy? Uh, if I don't, that's not Drew Brees, is it? Okay, I'm gonna come back to this guy. Um, another guy, uh, Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, absolutely Hall of Fame bound. He is going to be a Hall of Famer. I would not call him a legend. I would not say he was really surrounded. Well, he was surrounded by Antonio Brown, one of the best receivers. Um, so yeah, I would say he deserves to. Pe he will be a Hall of Famer. Uh, I don't know who this guy is, and Boomer Esiason, I would say borderline, uh, he won an MVP, made the Super Bowl, he was good, uh, he never made the Hall of Fame, I'm most likely, I'm pretty sure, um, but uh, yeah, I think he is, uh, I think he's a really good uh, quarterback in his time, Brett Favre, he is also a legend, he was very good, made three, su uh, three su no, two Super Bowls, he won one of them. Uh, he won three MVPs, actually all three in a row, which is incredible. Uh, right before Aaron Rodgers, so yeah, he's also a legend. The Packers have gotten very lucky, but very unlucky with their Super Bowls. Cam Newton, no, he's not a Hall of Famer. I'm sorry, Cam. You won an MVP, you lost a Super Bowl. You're not, you're not there. Uh, we've got, okay, this is not Joe Burrow. Okay, it's another, it's Carson Palmer. No, he's not a Hall of Famer. He actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna put borderline because he's top 15 in passing yards, passing touchdowns, and passing completions. So I would say borderline. I would I would uh, I would not say he's a Hall of Famer, but uh, yeah, he's a very good quarterback. Don't know who this guy is. I'm sorry, Dan Marino. Obviously a legendary quarterback. He never won a Super Bowl, but he won an MVP. He did not have really that much around him, but. He could have won more, but I would say he's a legend. He's amazing. Deshaun Watson, obviously not a Hall of Famer. Hasn't won anything really yet. Um, uh, McNabb. Uh, Donovan McNabb. Uh, I wouldn't say he's a Hall of Famer. I would say he's probably borderline. He uh, he made the Super Bowl, lost Tom Brady. We'll be coming up on him sometime soon. So yeah, he's uh, borderline probably, like I said, maybe second ballot, I'm not fully sure. Drew Bledsoe is probably borderline, but he will not make it because he has not enough accolades. I know he won a Super Bowl, but he did not play in that Super Bowl. Really cool guy, just not a Hall of Famer. Drew Brees, absolutely a legend. Only won one Super Bowl, which is very, very, very sad. It makes me extremely upset because he's a really cool guy and got screwed out of a few championships but he is probably honestly probably top three for me honestly people might think i'm crazy because he only has one ring but he deserves it eli manning i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it hall of fame bound yes eli manning should and will be in the hall of fame he won two Super Bowls, made a few Pro Bowls. I know Peyton is a lot better, but Eli has like 60,000 passing yards, a bunch of touchdowns, pretty good touchdown interception ratio. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, absolutely. 
I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. Um, Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly is in the Hall of Fame, so we'll just say uh, Hall of Fame bound. Uh, he's not legendary. He made four Super Bowls in a row. He lost all four of them. Not saying it's all his fault, but he was the leader and he did lose all four of them. But yeah, he's a cool guy. Joe Montana is a le. Sorry, no, he's not the goat. He's a legend. He is good. You know what? I'm sorry, but I'm putting him down here. I'm gonna do it. He is a. Le I'm gonna say I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, legend right legend i want to change this a little bit legend. you know what frick i don't even know how to spell legend legend but helps surround by surrounding talent yes i am gonna do that you guys might think i'm cr crazy but yes joe montana is a legend did not put up very good stats at all very surprised why people think he should be up here or even in the legends all four of these guys are better in my opinion I know he won four Super Bowls. He had Jerry Rice. So I'm going to put him here. I think he's extremely overrated. Joe Namath. Absolutely. He should not. He is a Hall of Famer. He should not be in the Hall of Fame. He was absolute garbage. 50% completion percentage, which is really bad. Literally more interceptions than touchdowns. He won that one Super Bowl, made like one Pro Bowl. I already made a video on this. Go check it out. <laughs> Um, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. John Elway, absolute legend. This guy was so good. Made back-to-back -back Super Bowls at the end of his career and won both of them. Made five. Sadly, lost the first three. Really cool dude. Been a pretty good contributor to the Broncos history. And deserves to be up here. Um, I think this is Johnny Unitas. Uh, I would say he's Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame, so I think he deserves it. And he's in it. He had pretty good stats, so he definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I'll give it to him. And uh, NFL already gave it to him. Josh Allen, absolutely not Hall of Fame. It made like two Pro Bowls, no All Pros. Hasn't done like anything. I think this is like Fran something. I don't know if he made the Hall of Fame, so I'm going to say borderline. And then we got... Sorry, I don't know this guy. Uh, and then we've got... Oh, yeah, this dude. He won MVP. Um... Late in his career, Rich Gannon. Uh, no, Rich Gannon is not a Hall of Famer, um, but, and I don't think he even is in the Hall of Fame, so yeah, no. Um, yes, Kurt Warner is a Hall of Famer. He deserves it. He is not a legend. I'm sorry, Kurt Warner. You deserve to be down here. You are not a legend. Honestly, Eli and Ben are legends, but they're more of like Hall of Fame bound players instead of legends, in my opinion. Lamar Jackson's not a Hall of Famer. Um, maybe if he wins a Super Bowl or two, maybe. Because he's already got that MVP. I don't know why people say Josh is better. Don't know who this is. I'm sorry. Or this guy. Matt Hasselbeck. He was good. I would say borderline. I don't really know a lot about him until Russell Wilson, to be honest. Um, because when he came around, I kind of focused more on the Seahawks. But he was good. He uh, made it uh, to a Super Bowl. You don't really need to win a Super Bowl to make the Hall of Fame, but it's very much uh, neat, kind of needed, but very helpful. Kind of like how Dan Marino, he was just so good and talented that he made the Hall of Fame. He obviously deserved it. Matt Hasselbeck probably didn't make it, but I will say he's borderline. Matt Ryan, probably borderline. I'm sorry, I'm not giving him Hall of Fame. Everyone thinks he's a Hall of Famer because he won the MVP, made the Super Bowl. He lost. He choked a 25-point lead with like one quarter left. Sorry, Matt. You're not a Hall of Famer. Matt Stafford, on the other hand, I would say he is a Hall of Famer. And he, but by like this, but but just barely, dude. Just by the, oh man, dude. Just barely a Hall of Famer in my opinion. He will. This is first ballot, by the way. So he deserves it. By the, by the skin of his teeth, he's going to make it right now, at least. Michael Vick, I would say borderline. So I re if he played his entire career, he'd be up in legendary. But I'm sorry, Mike. You had to go. You did all that bad stuff. You're gonna. I'm going to throw you right here. You're an amazing, talented quarterback. Patrick Mahomes. I hate this guy. But I'm going to say he is. Probably would make the Hall of Fame. He's pushing 30 years old. He's um, but 
I would say he will make the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he'll ever become a legend like these guys because I think he's kind of getting carried by his team, but I will give you the benefit of the doubt. You get help by the refs, good for you. You think everyone thinks you're so great even though you're really not. Peyton Manning, you are legendary. I like Peyton Manning. He's a cool dude. I think he's he's amazing. He won five MVPs, but he only won two Super Bowls, just like his brother, which is kind of surprising. But uh, yeah, Peyton Manning is a legend. Philip Rivers, everyone's like, oh, you're gonna put him right here, right? No, I'm gonna put him up here. Philip Rivers, actually, <laughs> honestly, I put him, I put Joe Montana in surrounded by talent. I should put him in legend, but not surrounded by talent. He had no no help at all, dude. He was so good, so talented, had all the potential, but had nothing and no one to help him. He deserves to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Look at his statistics. He was amazing. He was a great player and a really cool dude. He deserves it. Don't know who this is. Or this. Or this. Russ. Yes, he is a Hall of Famer. He won a Super Bowl. He's been to nine Pro Bowls. A bunch of all pros. He is an extremely talented passer and runner. This last year, he got screwed over. He had no help. Jerry Judy was hurt. Tim Patrick was hurt. Russ is going to bounce back this year. Mark my words. Come back to this video by the end of the year. I promise you he's going to do well. Sorry. Sorry. Steve Young. Um, honestly, I think Steve Young is better because he didn't really have he didn't really have Jerry Rice for as long as he had Jerry Rice so I'm gonna say Steve Young's a legend he might really not have like crazy statistics kind of like Joe Montana maybe a little bit better won like two or three Super Bowls but this guy was great he he could run none of these guys are really rare I mean running isn't like always important but this guy could run um Terry Bradshaw, I'm sorry about that. I would say, honestly, I wouldn't say he's a legend. I would probably put him down in Hall of Fame. He was helped by surrounding talent. I know he won four Super Bowls, but that doesn't always matter. We're not going to... I'm going to save him for last. We're not going to always um, uh, do it by Super Bowls, but that is very important. If you go back and watch Terry Bradshaw, he was pretty average. Look at his stats. Tony Romo. I would say he's borderline. He will not and has not made the Hall of Fame, sadly. But his statistics are like, or maybe even better than Matt Ryan. I know he never made an MVP, made a few Pro Bowls. But this guy is consistent. I mean, he was better than Troy Aikman. I mean, I know Troy Aikman, you know, Hall of Fame bound and all. But if you look at statistics, he's better. Like, everyone's like... What are you talking about? You know, Troy Aikman, you know, you see him on Monday night. Everyone's like, oh, you know, he's first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, he is. But honestly, Tony's a lot better than you think. Don't know who this is. I'm sorry, guys. Warren Moon. Uh, I don't know if he made the Hall of Fame, but I'm going to put him at borderline because I'm pretty sure he was close. He might be second ballot, but he is close. Um, he was a really good football player uh, for the Titans slash Oilers. Did choke that like 35 point lead, but we're not gonna talk about that. I'm not even a Titans fan. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. And here we go. We've got the goat. Oh, right here. Tom Brady has the most completions, the most attempts, the most touchdowns, the most passing yards. One of the best completion percentages, especially for almost for throwing about 90,000 touchdowns. I mean, 90,000 passing yards. If you guys don't think he's the GOAT, go look on Wikipedia. Look at his statistics. He's won seven Super Bowls, three MVPs, five Super Bowl MVPs. He's got everything, guys. 15 Pro Bowls. This man is the GOAT. He's got everything. So, go ahead. Hate on me. Tell me in the comments why I am wrong. But, because, just do it. If you don't agree with the stuff I put on here, let me know in the comments. I would like to hear your feedback. I'll let you know if you're right and I'll let you know if I was wrong on something. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos like this in the future. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys later. Peace.